so we made all right youtube today we're going to take a load of scrap in we're going to back into this uh old dump trailer here i think i got a little bit of stuff in the back of it still oh. yeah that freezer i need to get those tires out of there and anyways let's get it loaded up and uh head to the scrap yard all right mostly what we're going to try to get today is this piece here all those washers and dryers some of this stuff we're probably going to leave fence posts and stuff we'll probably still use but we're going to try to get most of this out today so let's get it loaded Here I'm just removing a cord, power cord from the dryer. Copper's worth a little bit more, so I like to save power cords. All right, last one. Normally we would just dump the load, but with a few washers and dryers it would be just as fast for us to hand unload it.
right now we're driving across the scale to get our tear weight, which is our empty weight. Uh, I had a video of us going across it loaded, but I don't know what happened if I forgot to push the button right or what, but we didn't get that video. But like I said, here's us going across it empty. We'll get our weight and then we'll drive back down and bring them the rest of this little bit of scrap we have in the back of the truck. Okay, so I'm not gonna have any audio in here because they've got the radio playing pretty loud and I don't want any copyright issues. So basically we're just separating everything right now. Um, I'm asking him, confirming with him what uh, type of metal it is. There's a couple things that I thought should have been electric motors or a breakage at least. And he said it was scrap. So we'll just take those back home with us. Uh, so we're just waiting for him to write down the weights and then we'll move that off the scale and we'll show the next thing on the scale. We've just got a couple of things here, some copper, electric motors, stuff like that. So all together, just got it dropped off, $72.62. Now the tin iron, that wasn't too bad, $160 a ton. Breakage I'm really disappointed in, seven cents a pound. I would have been better off just throwing my breakage in with the tin. That's crazy to me. Brass with copper, $1.71, I guess that's fine. Uh, but there was no brass that was number one copper i should have been like two something a pound if not three 65 cents a pound for number two of course that was insulated had a lot of rubber on it so that makes sense and the worst thing batteries now i've been taking scrap in for a long time it's usually 10 15 dollars per battery uh, they pay 11 cents 11 cents a pound so for a lawnmower battery and a full-size car battery five dollars and 28 cents 
that's a little ridiculous but $72.62 for you know hours worth of work hauling some scrap in it's not bad there's always money to be made somewhere guys opportunities are literally everywhere stop making excuses out Thank you.